Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this live webinar. Um, I welcome you wherever you are watching. Um, it's 12 p.m. here in U.S. in Easter time. Whether you are in the evening time zone or morning time zone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. So let's start. Please give me a yes in the comments if you can hear my voice or YouTube or Facebook, wherever you're watching. Please type yes so I can know you can hear my voice. If you can hear me, please um, type yes in the YouTube or on Facebook in the comments below. So I can see, I can um, see if you can hear me. All right, so let's start with our, um, our presentation. I have uh, only 20 slides here. Uh, I'll try to finish it within, within one hour. So stick to tw towards the end of the presentation um, where I'm going to um, reveal my bootcamp conditions and terms and the details what I'm offering in this bootcamp. So my presentation is mainly basic uh, for the basic online learning skills, which you can uh, which you can learn today to earn money online. Um, it's not it's for somebody who is absolute beginner. It's not for somebody who who is already working or had a job or something like that. It's, it's my this boot camp or these slides are geared mainly towards the people who are absolute beginners, who has no working experience, but who want to run online. They have some free time and they want to utilize that time, whether you whether they have a part-time job or something, and they, they have like a couple of hours a, a day, which they want to utilize to earn more money. It is also for some people who want to learn new skills, um, but they do not, do, don't know where to start. So this boot camp or these slides are basically ge geared towards those people. And this is also for somebody like me who cannot work alone and they need some motivation or some accountability partner. Uh, so this is also uh, for people like, uh, like this. So a little bit about myself before I start telling you what to do, a little bit about, my, about myself. So I'm engineer, basically electrical engineer, graduated from Pakistan, uh, worked in Middle East as a consultant, moved to US, and been working in US since last 10, 12 years. Um, I did recently my MBA in 2020. Um, I also have interest in, in product. Uh, I have a product design certification. Uh, also, I, I recently did my um, Google UX design certification in, la in this year. Other than that, I have interest in investments. So I keep learning on those, um, how to invest in stocks, how to invest in real estate. So that is also my uh, knowledge journey here. The purpose I'm telling you here because I'm not an expert in anything. And to be honest, I'm not expert in any field. So I'm not going to tell you I'm a guru. What I'm telling you here that I'm a student and I keep learning. I'm still learning every day and I, I, I like to learn new skills every day. And that's what I am promoting here in this webinar that you need to learn new skills. What doesn't matter where you are in life, every day you need to learn some new skills. So enough about myself. Let's start with you. So I want to ask everybody on watching this webinar to take a paper and write something on the paper. Why you want to do this? Why you want to learn new skills? Why? What is the motivation behind? What are your goals after going through this course? Is it making more money? Is it learning new skills? It is going into new career. What is the purpose? It is making money for your family, for better lifestyle, buying a house, buying a car. What are the goals? Write down those goals on a paper so you can get better understanding basically. What is the goal here? What are you trying to achieve? So take a moment, write down on a paper as we are going through this presentation and then towards the end, you will see why I'm asking you to do it. And there is a book called from Simon Sinek, Start With Why. And that's where I'm taking this um, concept because if you start with why, you really no, don't need external motivation. You will get internal motivation. You will know every time you feel bored or you feel stuck, you will see why you are doing it. And that will keep you going basically. That's the concept here. 
All right. So if you're if you in the previous question, previous slide, if your your goal is to earn money and that is the most basic motivation for every person who is doing job or who's trying to find a work. That is the main motivation, right? We want to make more money. So I want you to write down all your expenses, all your expenses, monthly expenses you spend, like food, like housing, like bills, education, food, any other clothes, everything, whatever you spend every month, take a paper and write down on a paper. So you know what is your budget, right? And that is basically your financial freedom number. If you get that every month, whether from a job, whether from a business, whether from online skill or something like that, that is your goal basically to get to that number so you don't have any financial stress, right? That is the concept here. That is the goal for, for this slide is to understand what is your monthly target, right? Because once you determine that, then you can work backward to achieve that goal. If you don't know what's your target, then one day you will be up, the second day you will be down. You don't know what's, where you're going. But if you know that my target is to earn, let's say $1,000 or $2,000 or $5,000 a month, then you can start working on it. Then you know how much effort it will take to earn that money, right? So this is just random numbers here based on my, my expenses in the US. Uh, middle class uh, lifestyle, probably 3000 to 5 4000 a month it will cost here. But depending upon where you are in, in the world, and everybody has a different circumstances. So take your own circumstances into consideration. See like what is your monthly expenses, what are your bills, what are your house, housing costs, what are your car costs, whatever the costs are, write down on a paper and come up with a number. All right. So if you, uh, I have actually a digital format for this, right? Um, so if you see my screen here, I have this um, this presentation, this uh, Google slide, and I'll link this under my video so you can make a copy, go to file, make a copy from here, and then here you can basically see I have put down all these expenses. So you can you can download this, um, make a copy, and then you can write all your expenses here. And then I also have the second uh, other tabs here, which I will discuss in the next uh, in the next slides. All right, so let's go to the next slide, which is basically the concept of money. And I want everybody to understand what is the concept of money. So we all want to earn more money. We want better house, we want better uh, car, we want, you know, other expensive items in our life, but we don't understand what is the money, how to earn more money. Everybody want to earn more money, but we really don't know what money is. So money is simply is a transactional currency of transfer of value. You are creating a value somebody needs that value for from that job or from that service and you are selling that value and somebody is willing to pay for that value so i want you to understand whatever the job you are doing whatever the product you are selling what is the value are you creating is that high enough value for somebody to pay you for hundred dollar two hundred dollar five hundred dollar one thousand dollar five thousand dollars the more value you create, the more money you can make. And this applies to your life, to your job, to your business, whatever you do. The more value you create in somebody's life, the more money you can make. And whenever you are providing your service or product, you are basically making sure that your product or service is making some money for your client if your product or service is not making or saving there could be there are many products which save money if you are not if your product or service is not doing it you cannot make money you may be able to do it like for some time but for long term only the product or services survive or jobs even survive which create a value for example somebody hires you in a job and 
they they don't feel the value like they are giving you a salary let's say $1000 and you are not giving them $2000 worth of value they're not going to keep you for a long time right so that is a concept in freelancing also if you're trying to make money online you need to see that your product or service is making value next slide we have it's again about you so take a paper and write down your skills what is your what are your skills you have right now in your current role or job or whatever in your current situation is and also write down your strengths and your weaknesses and also write down how much time you have in your spare time so you can dedicate that time to earn more money uh, utilizing that time and again i have those that presentation here that the google slide here you can make a copy of that um, that google slide this, i will share the link uh, down in the video or in my group uh, and then you can go here and then write down all the skills here whatever you have so put the number here put today's date when you are starting put all these basic it skills design whatever the skills you are trying to learn put the current level and I have here the legend where you are and you know everybody knows where they are and then after one year I want you to go back and try to see how much you have improved right and then here you have strengths and weaknesses put down the, uh, your strengths and this is basically self audit we we want to do our self audit so we know where we are we are today so we can track ourselves where we will be in future because if you don't know where you are today, you really don't will not be able to go where, wherever you want to go. So that is very important to know yourself where you are right now. And I have here the last um, point here. Try to leverage your existing skills first. So everybody has some skills. Uh, try to utilize those skills first before you go and try to learn new skills because if you have those skills right now for example you are in, in medical profession you are engineer you are in you know real estate agent you are whatever you are if you can utilize your skills that will be very easy and that will be competitive advantage basically other person in if somebody from outside that, that profession if they are trying to come into your profession they will have hard time to succeed than you because you have already experience in that profession right so go online go to fiverr.com go to upwork.com other online marketplaces and see in your profile with your skill set what other people are selling and can you sell the same stuff right that will be easy to sell rather than um, going after some skills which are hard to learn and it'll take maybe six months to a year to uh, to learn so start with something which you already know next i have here so if you don't don't have any skills let's say this slide is for absolute beginners you have no background experience you never worked online and you are basically starting over from the beginning so this is for somebody who is starting over i have uh, listed here some of the skills these are not very complicated skills everybody i believe can learn these skills and the potential here to earn somewhere $500 let's say on the lower side to maybe $10,000 on the upper side and then as you go from top to bottom here um, these are easier to learn and of course they're not gonna pay you much money but if you go down in the bottom here if you learn these skills and these skills literally can give you six-figure income in in US in UK in Canada in Australia all other European countries right so here data analytics and cloud computing of course they are difficult to learn they are not like easy um, um but this this can be learned if you if you dedicate like six months to a year you can definitely learn these skills and utilize those skills to get a job or sell your services online on the uh, freelancing websites but on the topic if you st uh, start here um if you are basically trying to learn something first time so i suggest you you start from graphic design this is not very difficult to learn it's easy to learn and then you move to the web design you go to the ui ux design video editing so pick one or two skills if you want which you want to learn and for example if you already have a digital marketing experience you can start there right that is the the field you already know if you already have know how to do the 
videos and stuff like that that is the skill you want to start but these are in my experience a little bit medium very basic will be start with the graphic design and see like you know uh, everybody these days who is on the social media who is online they need some kind of graphic design right they need a logo they need a post they need you know all these uh, infographics they share online so anybody who has a business who is trying to do build online even the physical business these days they need these all these services so it's easy to learn these skills and then uh, start earning uh, your uh, income online so next i will go one by one little bit in detail on these um, skills so you can have a better idea how much money you can earn and what are the tools and techniques and skills you need to uh, uh, you need to basically earn money in these fields so the first one you have here is graphic design that is the very first one right and i have here the snapshot from fiverr.com so if you go to fiverr.com you can see how much they are selling so somebody is selling this service uh, logo he is designing logo 30 dollars this guy is uh, completing the complete social kit basically logo and the kit 100 dollar this guy is selling 10 dollar this guy is selling 85 dollar so there is a potential in my view from anywhere from 10 dollar to 100 dollar on uh, using these kind of services you will be designing logos you will be designing flyers posters social media posts ads all these kind of stuff you see online on instagram on facebook on google and twitter all these things they are basically done by some graphic designer somewhere and that can be you easy to learn not very difficult yeah you have to work it's not like you will be earning in few days you have to spend a couple of months maybe three months minimum but it can be done uh, what are the tools here we have here canva.com very easy tool if you, you have not done it before install it you can install on your phone you can install on your desktop you can in, in use in the chrome um, all my slides are basically designed in canva right all my um, the facebook page you see like uh, youtube face you see all these th things are designed in canva so you can do that in in there and you can sell it to social media the problem with the canva is it does not gives you high resolution uh, output basically so they are source file is called dot psd or other um, illustrator had a different extension those files the, um, canva cannot give so you can post in the social media online website maybe maybe on the on your, your uh, facebook but if you are trying to print that material that poster or that flyer on a paper or some other uh, materials they're not going to work so for that, if you want to do it professionally, you should be learning Adobe uh, Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. Illustrator used for logos and stuff like that. Photoshop is just to edit photos um, and then make them a little better or edit them. So these two, two tools, uh, Photoshop and Illustrator, that definitely you should learn if you are trying to um, learn photo, uh, graphic design. But as a start, you can, you can just learn Canva and then Canva can do the basic stuff as a start. But as you go uh, move forward in three to six months, you should learn these two tools so you can do it as a professional. All right, the next one is Adobe uh, web development. So web design and development, um, everybody needs a website. Every business has a website these days, right? Even I uh, um, have my own, I'm trying to build my own website. So every person, every business, every uh, media person, they have a website. So th there is a demand for, um for that website uh, for that basically skill so here in the past you need uh, basically coding skills still there are professional website designed by the programmers or coders but now there are no code tools for example wordpress or other uh, tools are there which basically can gives you the ability it's a drag and drop tool and you can easily build a website online you don't need the programming skills so that you can do and then he, here again i have the slide uh, snapshot from uh, canva you can see somebody is charging 500 dollar somebody is doing it 80 dollars anywhere between 50 dollar to 500 dollar you can you can um, basically charge for a website i have seen people charge three thousand dollar ten thousand dollar so minimum average a good website 
which will take maybe a couple of weeks or maybe a month to develop. I have seen people charging for $3,000 to $5,000 in US, right? High-end website, um, big companies, I have seen $10,000 to $20,000 even people spending their money. So if you can learn this skill, this is again the next level of the graphic design. You can earn your money quickly. For example, if you're targeted $500, maybe you only need one website to develop in a, in a month and you have a $500. Right. If you if your target is to earn one thousand dollar in a month, maybe two website in a month, or maybe high end website maybe can give you two to three thousand dollar a month. So this is definitely high end skill. You can learn to uh, to earn money online. Again, here Canva has a basic uh, website, um, all the graphics and stuff like that you can design in Canva. But for the development and design, you definitely need WordPress you can do. And also there are Webflow, there is a Bubble, Wix, Squarespaces, all these tools, they are no code tools. So they are like Canva, you drag and, drag and drop stuff and then you can design a beautiful website in these, um, in these tools. So next one is UI UX design. So if you notice, I am go I'm taking in a step by step process, right? I started with graphic design, then web development. Now I'm the third level is UI UX design. So UI UX design in less last 10, 15 years ago, people just were just creating websites and apps and there is no user experience was considered. Now in last few years, the UI UX design has emerged really um, uh, on, on the, in, in the worldwide basically. And that the reason is uh, companies and these uh, entrepreneurs who are, who are making these products, they want to make sure the user get the best experience. So for example, the example here is you install a website or you go to a, um, uh, you install an app or a website and you, you click on a button and it doesn't do anything, right? So I want you to go to apple.com website or tesla.com website and see how their website behaves, right? how their uh, apps behave. So if you have, let's say iPhone or Samsung mobile and then install some other, some, you know, um, any random web uh, app from Google Play or uh, Apple store and see the experience, the webs and the app which Google has designed, the app which Apple has designed versus the app somebody uh, overseas who has designed somewhere, right? So you will see the difference. What's the difference? If you click somewhere on the Google app or, or Apple app, that gives you a better experience. The, the, the way the page moves, the way you, you move from one screen to other screen. So all that basically comes into user experience. And that comes with the user research. You have to do the research. Who is my user? Why I'm designing it? What are their needs? Who is my target basically audience? Uh, are they old people? Are they young people? Are they kids I am designing for? And then you basically see what, how they behave, what is their experience, right? And then you do the testing. So there are different basically phases in the UX experience. And again, it comes back, if you have some little bit design background, it's very easy to switch to UX design. And why I'm sharing UX design? Because this is high end skill. There are, I don't know, 100,000 a million jobs in US alone which need UX um, design experience because all these companies, they are hiring for UX uh, design professionals and they are paying really good money. $100,000 you can earn easily in if you have a good UX design experience in US. So that is important, um, I, I think, to keep in mind if you are starting design, you should have a clear path where you are going. And uh, UX design, uh, I think, is the ultimate goal as a graphic designer or a website developer. If you have, you want to achieve that level so you can high, you can charge more money basically, or you can get a job at a, uh, Google or Facebook or other companies like this, right? And to learn these, this is again, not very difficult, but definitely you need some experience and you, you need some training. And there is a Google UX design certification. I did myself a couple of months ago. It's very easy to do. Uh, they have seven, um, seven lessons or seven uh, courses and you can do it online. This is available on Coursera.com. Uh, you need to have the concept of design thinking. What is design thinking? And there are tools like Adobe XD, Figma, Sketch, which will help you to design these uh, experiences in their tools basically. So next we have um, video editing. So video editing again, this is, uh, you are watching my video. This is a video I'm, I'm doing it first time. So I don't know how that video is, 
But if you go to YouTube or Facebook, you see these professional videos. So somebody has edited these videos, right? Somebody has cut the arms and hours. I'm talking a lot of these today, but somebody has done that, right? So if you can do that, you can charge money. And here again, you see somebody is charging $10 all the way $100. So I think $100 to $200, $300 easily you can charge for a good video editing, uh, editor if you have some experience uh, in that field. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is the, the software which mostly people uh, use. Um, and then Filmora, that is a cheap version. Uh, you can get that one. That will also give you the ability to edit the videos in the in a professional, uh, basically, manner. Um, going forward, the next skill I want to talk about is digital marketing. So digital marketing is something basically to use digital media, for example, Facebook, Google, um, uh, online forums um, to, to promote your business, basically, to your service. So, for example, I'm reaching you through YouTube or Facebook. So this is a digital medium, right? This is a digital example of a digital marketing. And what activities you have here, you have a social media marketing, promoting your, your post on Facebook, on YouTube, on, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Snapchat, all these platforms. You have a search engine optimization. So you are optimizing um, the website speed, website basically indexing so your people can search you on, on Google. So if I, I write, for example, if you have a printing shop, so I write on Google printing shop in, let's say, Canada or in US or in India or wherever. So your your website come first on the line, on this list. So that's where people can click. So because most of the people, uh, if you notice, you don't go beyond second uh, first page. So if your website or your um, business is appearing on the first um, uh, first uh, page, you're gonna get the most traffic. You're gonna get the most business. So that's the the importance of um, social media marketing and uh, media mar uh, digital media marketing and search engine optimization. Uh, here again, Google has a certification, Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce certificate. They have it. You can learn that. There are uh, really good websites online where you can go and learn the social media marketing. I have mentioned some of these here, but this is um, there are a lot of resources online available for free, which you can learn. And then here you can see people are charging anywhere from $20, $10 to even $600 to optimize a website. So this is really, I think, is a good good um, skills to have um, and learn if you want to earn money. All right. So next, last two ones I talked about previously in my uh, beginner uh, beginning slide: um, data analytics and cloud computing. So data in analytics is basically trying to do some analysis from the data we we receive through our websites, our business profiles, even my YouTube video uh, channel and this um, Facebook page I created, it has some data, right? Who is watching it? How many people are watching it? How far they watched it? Uh, where are their location? All this is a data. So data analytics is basically to um, utilize that data to analyze it get some useful business insights so we, i can target that that audience there and and try to get more business from that data D data analytics is very um, huge again uh, very popular in in the developed world in the us uk you will find in jobs if you go to google.com search data analytics salary or data analytics job you will see so many jobs there more than 100k 150k even 200k jobs you can get in data analytics field and it's not it's difficult to uh, medium to high i think difficulty is it's not impossible to learn it may take 3 to uh, 6 months maybe a year max to learn this skill but you can learn it 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 is not um, impossible to learn it if you if you are starting from the beginning from very scratch, if you have some high school education or college education, you can easily learn the data analytics, right? There, again, there is a Google certification. I'm mentioning all these certification again and again because they are professionally grade Google certified, right? So if you um, learn this and then you get this certification, you can definitely get a good job based on these just certification because then people know like you have done some work and then you on the side, if you, if you start doing some projects, that will give you an edge. So there are some tools like Tableau, like Power BI, Excel is very common. Uh, SQL, you have to learn maybe a little bit. 
Python and R maybe needed some high um, end jobs or little bit higher data sets when you have like large business, then maybe you need to uh, learn a little bit Python and R. But all these skills, and in my view, they are a little bit higher end, but they can be learned. The last one I have here is cloud computing. So cloud computing is very high. What is cloud? So in the last 10, 15 years ago, all our uh, laptops or computer used to have a big server, right? Big hard drive, big one terabyte, two terabyte hard drive. And we used to save all the files on our machines or our computers. Now we just upload on the Google, we upload on the Amazon cloud, our uh, online other places, right? There are so many private clouds also. So cloud is basically, they have this huge and huge server somewhere in in other, you know places in the world, in the US, in India, in Singapore, other places around the world where they just store like, you know, just miles and miles of the space where they have just these racks. And these are basically, they store data on those servers, right? And then you can upload, your files from your mobile your application to your databases and then you can all that data is here and then you can you, you can uh, uh, search anywhere like if you are using for example i these slides i uh, did it from my laptop and i also have these in mobile the same that that canva uh, application they have like two different places so that is a example of cloud similarly you have a google cloud google photos that is an example of google cloud so this is again a little bit hard to learn but there are boot camps they are basically online uh, certifications available which you can un, uh, learn to basically get really high paying job in the us or in uk literally you can get like ten thousand dollar job if you have this um uh, this certification for example aws certification or uh, google cloud uh, certification or microsoft um, cloud certification so if you get this certification um, you can easily earn from through free, freelancing, doing your projects online, or you can get a better, like high paying job in, in US or UK and Canada and other else um, um, developed world basically. So with that, um, I have here mentioned all this, the Google uh, certifications, which I was talking about. So you can see here the Google, this is just um, the snapshot from Google um, website. They're saying there are 1.5 million jobs right now in these fields, and they are they're not many people. Literally in the US right now, there are not many people who are applying on these jobs because um, due to the pandemics, many people left, many people are working from home. They don't want to go, go back to office. So there are many, many, many jobs available. So if you have the skills available, you can you can you can get these jobs and these days most of the jobs are online doesn't matter where you are in the world you can easily get these jobs so i highly recommend for somebody who's trying to develop their skills who trying to maybe get a job and maybe uh, go into you know a freelancing world get these certifications ux and design certification as i talked about this is um I end right now in the design and right development, project management, data analytics. I talked about IT sport, digital marketing, and commerce. I talked about on, on this also. And then they are saying you can learn at your own pace. These are all online. I did my UX design in five weeks, um, but you can do it like two to three months easily. They are saying six months, but if you spend like 10, 15 hours a day, which is basically two, three hours a, uh, every day, uh, sorry, 10 hours a week. So that is basically either working over the weekend. I was working over two, two days over the weekend, basically. So I, I was doing like 10, 15 hours, 15 hours at least a week, and I get it done in, in five weeks. So it's easily, easily can be done. All these certification can be done in three to six months. Uh, similarly, um, Facebook has certification. So all these certification, if you want to use the, um, the marketing side, so marketing side, all these certification uh, 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 Facebook has, and all these are free. So you can learn the, all these free. And then I think for exam, they maybe had a little bit fee, but uh, at least the courses are free. Um, similarly here, if you see the Spark AR creator, so if you are, want to go to Metaverse, so that is kind of next big thing, 
right? It's not there yet. It's going to be there maybe in the next five to 10 years. So they have their, their um, Spark software. So that you can you can learn that to become an uh, uh, AR creator, basically, AR VR. That is a high, sk uh, high in demand skill these days in the US. So they have all these certification online. If you're some, somebody who's starting over, who has a little bit IT background, you can definitely want to go uh, after these certifications. Um, here I have mentioned all the all those resources. These are free resources. Um, the top two lines where you can learn. YouTube is the one. I, most of the stuff I learn, I learn from YouTube. Google, just Google it. You will find some whatever you're trying to learn. Just Google it. You will find free resources. You don't need to pay any money any money to anyone. Facebook has so many resources. Even TikTok has learning. If you learn design, if you learn web development, you will see so many videos on on TikTok talk for that um, for that uh, field basically and bottom here in, in lower two uh, rows these are basically the um, uh, the online platform where you can sell your skills right so fiverr upwork 99 design there are so many others i have mentioned like uh, some of these here but there are other websites where you can go and earn your money um all right so what is my bootcamp. So all these things they are generic. They are available online. So what is the bootcamp? What I am offering in this basically bootcamp. So the purpose of the bootcamp is because all these skills, as I mentioned, all these courses and all these resources, they are free. They are available online. I believe information in this age that is free. I have learned it myself. Never paid any single penny to anyone. Go to Google. Go to uh, YouTube. You will learn whatever you want to learn how to make a biryani, to how to make a website, to how to make a plane, how to make a, you know, um, ship. Everything is on free available. Only thing you need is a motivation and time and commitment, basically. And that is difficult to have, right? Many, not many people have the, um, the motivation. People like kind of get tired, they get stuck. They, they don't want to do anything, right? They don't know where to start. So in this bootcamp, what I'm suggesting basically, choose your path. Um, and you basically decide what you want to learn. I'm going to basically have a weekly lecture like this. This is the first one I'm doing it, but I will do a weekly lecture and I'll give you basic skills or basic, basically business skills and all these, which, which basically applies to all the fields. It's not going to be just design or graphic design. It's going to be applicable to everybody. How to set up your profile, how to sell online, all these generic business skills. I'm going to teach that in that bootcamp. But I'm going to give you the assignments, whatever the, the field you choose. For example, you want to graphic design or web design or UX design. You choose your course. You go online. Uh, you select the, um, the course you want to attend. I'll give you the resources. You, you attend that course. You come back every week. You show the assignment. I'll help you to improve your design or your work on, on the weekly basis. And after three months, if you let's say if you do one project, a week let's say if you're making a logo a poster anything even website if you're designing website you are designing an app every week you will create one project and over a three months period you have a 10 to 12 projects and that will be basically your portfolio so if you are going online you are selling something online in three months you will have your portfolio ready so you can go and show at least on, on your page, on your on your profile, that you have done some work, right? If you are trying to do on yourself, it may take a uh, long time to do. And all this is free. I'm not charging anything to anybody. Only thing you need to do, commit yourself and then decide what you want to do. Um, what to expect in my bootcamp? So first of all, you need to have 10 to 15 hours per week. So two day, two hours to two, three hours, maybe if you are working five days a week, maybe you want to work over the weekend, maybe five hours in two days or three days. Decide based on your time commitment, based on your job um, right now, whatever your schedule looks like. So decide whatever the time you have and then how much time you can commit every week. And then choose your own path, basically, right? I'm not uh, saying I will start from design. This is, again, free to everybody. Um, you can design, you can start from graphic design, you can start from web design, you can start from uh, UX design, uh, and then you can start over fr from there, right? Everybody will be different. My lecture will be generic to everybody. For example, de design, same principle applies to graphic design. And same principle applies to website design. Same principle applies to UX, UX design. 
So everything is connected. You decide what you want to do, and then we we'll, we basically you know just learn from uh, from there. I'll help you um, weekly basis. I'll review your work. I'll give you the assignments. I will give you the project. This is a, this is the next thing you have to do, and then that will basically build your portfolio. That will give you the confidence you need. That will give you the the weekly um, basically progress um, sense that yeah, I'm making every week. You will see the confidence building. Like yeah, I'm I'm making progress week over week. I believe in three months I can help you to walk, but you have to run yourself, right? I can help you to learn. I can show you the path you have to do the work i'm not going to do the work for you I, I as i said i'm not an expert i my job as a coach is to guide you my job job is not as a coach to basically you know do it for you i don't have any magic word or something like you know i can make you something you have to put the hard work it's it's going to take work it's going to take 10 to 15 hours a week but it is doable it's doable um and how much you can earn that is up to you Anywhere from five hundred dollar, as I said, minimum I believe everybody can earn minimum five hundred dollar. The sky is the limit. Ten thousand, twenty thousand, whatever that goal is, you can achieve. The more effort you put, the more high end skill you earn, you can you can get your to your level. All right, so this is the end of my presentation. I have this. I created this uh, Facebook group where I will post all my lectures. Um, uh, the Google sheet I shared, I will post the link there. Also, I'm going to post my uh, one on one coaching sign up sheet there. So whoever is interested, put your uh, take that um, for, uh, that survey, put your information there. So I know what's time you are available. My time basically going to be uh, US Eastern time, Saturday and Sunday, first half nine to 12. Uh, I will be available. So I will be taking maybe 15. 20 people in that boot camp because that's probably I can uh, I can do in the, these um, five six hours uh, every week I'm dedicating for it but choose your time whatever time it, it works for you um, if you are in Pakistan or somewhere other in the in, in the part of the world decide what what time works for you based on in, in Pakistan I think it's gonna be like um, um, in the evening like six to nine maybe uh, something like that so six to nine in Pakistan in US Eastern time it's gonna be like nine to twelve in the morning. So join this group. There is a group on Facebook. Go to this page. There is a group. Go join that group. Fill that form there. Uh, also, I created a YouTube um, channel. I, I'm gonna post all my videos there. All these lectures will be go will go there. So subscribe to that uh, YouTube channel. So you will get all these um, all these um, lectures and guides there. So this gonna be, uh, I think, for three months. I'll probably create ten to twelve um, videos on this topic, and whoever join the bootcamp, I will assign specific um, goal for them, specific path for them. I'll design for them, and they will achieve their goal basically according to their own time and their own schedule. Is there any questions? Please ask in the comments. I can try to answer those. Um, otherwise, you can join the group, and then I can answer also the questions there. If there is any questions, please post under uh, under the um, under this um, YouTube channel or my Facebook page. If you are watching on the Facebook, um, if there is any question, I can try to answer those. Otherwise, I wish you good luck and I hope people will join this bootcamp. And I, I just want trying to help everybody, not trying to make any money or anything like that. Just trying to help people who are trying to earn more money who are trying to develop their skills my my effort is just basically to help people all right everybody take care i'll see you in next video